Hey, it's Harkert from Play. In this video, we're going to touch on the basics of the expression editor. The expression editor is an input method that allows you to create more complex prototypes in Play. We'll talk about in subsequent videos, object properties, device properties, trigger properties, equations, and functions, and how you can use all of that to really get the most out of Play. But in this video, we're taking it back to the basics. So first, how do you open the expression editor? Well, you're going to need to be in interaction mode because the expression editor is only available in interaction mode at this point. Then you can go on any of your interaction nodes, so triggers or property or actions, or animate blocks, conditions, etc. And you can click on this little plus icon next to the property name inside of any of these nodes. Clicking on that is going to give you this drop down native menu, and one option in there will be use expression. You'll click on that, and that's going to open the expression editor. Now, you can close it by clicking on this close icon, and you can reopen it by clicking on now the value here. So it says empty, and you can see it has this little purple box around it, and that indicates that you're using an expression here. So you can click on that, and it's going to reopen this. Now, quickly, I want to show you that if we close that and we click on this purple dot, it's going to revert this back to just using a hard-coded value. So if you want to reopen the expression editor, you'll need to do that again. Click here, use expression, or in the value property here, press the plus sign, and now we've opened the expression editor that way. Now that we're inside the expression editor, let's take a look at the UI. So at the top, you're going to have the property name. So the property that we're editing right now using the expression editor is the value property. So that's listed there. And we're using, we're editing that value property in the set property action. So you're going to see the property name and you'll see the action or trigger name up here as well. You're also going to see this text size switcher. So you can just click this and it's going to toggle between three different text sizes. Next, you can change the mode from dark mode to auto to light to back to dark mode. You can also just drag this and move it around. And you can see I can place it anywhere. And when I did that, it's changing this X mark to a little pin icon. That's going to stay open no matter what I do. So I can click on anything else. And my expression editor is going to stay in view. I can, of course, close it just by clicking on that close button again. And again, we can reopen it this way. So now that we've talked about how the expression editor looks, now let's talk about how it behaves. So you're going to type in something. You're going to give the expression editor an input. It's going to take that, and it's going to return a value. That output is going to be one of three types. It can either be a number, so that's pretty self-explanatory, positive number, negative number, whole number, decimal point, number. Next option is a string. So that's a word or a phrase or a character. And then third option is a Boolean, and that can either be true or false. You don't get to choose what the output will be. It's going to determine that for you. So for example, if we typed in one plus one, the output here is going to be two. That's a number. So the value here will be a number. If we instead typed in a string, so like hello, or even an equation with a string, so hello plus exclamation point, this is going to give us a string as the output. And lastly, if we did a Boolean, so we could type in true or false, that's a Boolean, or we could use an equation. So we could say like, is 100 greater than 200? This is going to be false. That's a Boolean that will come out. So it depends on what you put in, what you're going to get out of the expression editor. So that is a basic overview of the expression editor. Thanks so much for watching this video.